Hello all, welcome to Electric Vehicles and this is Pavan, Pavan Kumar. Today in this video, I am going to review Maxi Electric Scooter which was manufactured by Magnet Company. So basically this Maxi Electric Vehicle is a pure Indian made electric vehicle. To review this vehicle, we have come to the showroom which is located at Ponganuru, Chichu district, Andhra Pradesh. So let's go inside, come with me. So guys, uh, this is our Maxi electric scooter. So basically it's a no registration and no license vehicle, but it is having a range of 100 to 120 kilometers, uh, they are saying actually. And it's uh, having a maximum speed of 25 kilometers, but uh, earlier we have tested uh, this vehicle and it's uh, it's going beyond uh, 25 kilometers and it's coming up to 35 to 40 kilometers per hour, but uh, it, was not, it was not shown in the display. So let me hop on first. So if you observe here, uh, they have given a send side stand, uh, which is normal to every electric vehicle. And with uh, with that, they have given they have also given center stand also, which is rate to electric vehicles because there are some most of the electric vehicles they are not providing center stand, but this vehicle, uh, this company's vehicle, all vehicles will have center stand if you observe the food space of this vehicle it's very comfortable uh, for uh, medium and heighted portion also so if you see it it is not flat uh, it's somehow it's very high if you observe because the seat is not high uh, so here uh, with this much of food space we can carry water cans or uh, cylinders whatever we want we could actually carry very easily because it is having uh, much space right so basically it, uh, this vehicle is having an uh, lock and unlock uh, feature if you observe here this is a lock it is unlocked and also it is having anti theft feature also so there is no need to uh, there is no need to worry about theft of this vehicle so guys if you observe they have given a button for this uh, vehicle which is a uh, find my scooter if you park in the parking lot if you forget also if you press this button this uh, vehicle will get alarm and you can find it uh, you can find your vehicle easily so let me start this vehicle so this is how a display light uh, looks like so now if you observe the display it is in parking mode to release the parking mode if you press this button it will unlock from parking mode now it's ready to ride on and if you observe uh, this vehicle it is uh, having three modes for three modes there is only one button they have given uh, for other vehicles they used to give three buttons for three modes but uh, but in this vehicle they have given only one button for all three modes now we are in second mode if you observe here so this is third mode and now it is the first mode so for the three modes we have to press this button three three times in first mode this vehicle can go up to 15 kilometers per hour speed and in second mode uh, they are saying that this vehicle can go uh, with speed of uh, 20 to 25 kilometers per hour and in third mode this vehicle can go 25 kilometers per hour speed but my expectation is this vehicle can go beyond 25 to 25 kilometers also and it can reach up to 35 to 40 kilometers per hour because we have tested this company's vehicle uh, before this only. So guys if you observe the display they have given a uh, health meter and also speedometer. If you observe this, uh, this is a speedometer and this is a trip meter. So these are the kind of things they have included in the display. And we're coming to the buttons of this vehicle, this is high beam and low beam button. This is a horn uh, which is not more loud but it's okay and this is indicator parking indicator the best thing uh, the best concern of uh, this vehicle they have given indicators with uh, with some sound and this is as i said this is a parking mode button and this is lights button so the lights also very bright we have to ignite this you have to press this uh, vehicle now it's in parking mode right so we have to Place the parking mode. Then after we have to ignite. Then we are ready to we are we are ready to go. So this is how the display of this vehicle looks like. So guys, if you observe here closely, they have given a USB port to charge your phone. So I'll show you how to charge. That's it. Now uh, it is in on position, right? So if you see, our phone is charging. To place this also, they have given some space here, which is very comfortable. 
so with charging this mobile we can keep this here not only for not only for keeping these uh, items we can keep anything like uh, some wallets or money or anything else you can actually keep it uh, here because there is a lot of space not only here they are here also they have given sufficient uh, uh, space uh, so that we can actually keep our books or any documents any related documents uh, of this vehicle and friends if you observe carefully here this is the charging port of this vehicle and with which uh, we can charge our vehicle and it will take two to three hours to charge this vehicle and with 100% um, of charging uh, this vehicle can go up to 100 to 120 kilometers that's a great range we could actually say that because uh, it, as it is a no registration and low license vehicle but it is having a great range well coming to the front part of this vehicle if you see the front part of this vehicle if you observe the brakes also it will give you a retro feeling coming to the coming to the body of the vehicle it is a abs plastic and they have here they have given a air vent and coming to the headlight of this vehicle they have integrated the headlights and if you observe this vehicle carefully it looks like Komaki xdt vehicle also because both the designs of the vehicles are very same so here the mudguard is also abs plastic coming to the tires of this vehicle uh, these are tubeless tires well coming to the size of these tires it's a 12 inch uh, tubeless tire they have given and they have also given alloy wheels so if you if you see here this is a telescopic suspension so if you come in this side so guys so guys if you observe the vehicle design it comes with a stylish look if you see this it uh, it is a stylish design they have in, they have given for this vehicle but uh, but friends for this electric vehicle they have not given a separate foot rest they have integrated these uh, foot rest to this body here so if you see the back end of this vehicle this is a telescopic suspension they have provided here and one guard is there to protect this motor guys I already told you this is a DLDC hub motor and which is having capacity of 250 watts which is more than enough for any uh, low speed and low range vehicle so guys if you observe the rear part of this vehicle they have given uh, integrated indicators that are attached to the body only and this is the tail lamp this is the tail lamp which is also a LED one this is the reflector and the, coming to the tail lamp it is LED one as I already told you so if you observe this carefully it is like a triangle shape they have given and here they have not given anything uh, for normal vehicles here there will be a number plate but um, it's not a registration vehicle right so there will be no number plate it will be like this only so if you see this guys this is a grab rail pillion, uh, pillion rider can sit comfortably and hold this so guys now I'm going for a test ride uh, in, in that test ride I will tell you the performance of this vehicle So friends, now we have completed the test ride of this vehicle and we'll coming to the price of this vehicle. Uh, this vehicle cost around 116,340 rupees. So coming to the warranty of this vehicle, they are offering two years warranty and one year service guarantee. And if you observe the positives and negatives of this vehicle, coming to the positives of this vehicle, positives is a pickup, uh, one is pickup and second is range and the third one is design. Design of this vehicle is also positive to this vehicle to purchase anyone. Coming to the negatives of this vehicle, uh, coming to the second negative uh, of this vehicle is display because display is not that much good and that is a second negative. And coming to third negative of this vehicle, third negative is price. Price is the disadvantage of this vehicle because it is a no registration and low license vehicle but uh, well, coming to the price of this vehicle is very high and that is uh, one of the negative of this vehicle. So that's all for now guys. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and also share this video to your friends and family members and comment your thoughts on this vehicle. And for more such videos, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get instant notifications whenever we upload the video. Go green, go electric.